Oh my god. <laughs> Hello! Today is Wednesday, November 9th, 2015, and that means we are seven weeks away from NaNoWriMo. Still freaking out, um, a little bit. But knowing that I'm making progress is helping, I guess. So what did I do last week? Um, I read more in my Conflict and Suspense book, and I took just a little bit of notes. Uh, not much. <laughs> I went shopping instead, so that happened. But I think... Oh, <laughs> so the other thing that I did... Um, I really shouldn't have done this. I made a mock cover design for the story that I'm going to be using for NaNoWriMo. Not written a page on it, and I did three mock cover designs. The third one is gorgeous, um, so that's going to be the one I'm using. And um, it's actually kind of inspiring the story. It's cementing certain ideas I have about the story in a way that I uh, may have forgotten about some of those story ideas. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but I did. Um, this week, I'm going to be doing, uh, well, I want to finish... I want to finish cons Conflict and Suspense, um, and then I want to continue taking some notes on it, but I've gotten further into the book, and it's more kind of editorial at this point, like um, after you've finished the draft, then you go back through and you use some of the other uh, you know, suggestions in the book. So I don't think that I need to take a lot more notes, so I'm, I'm right on track with that. But yes, I want to I want to start doing character voice journals. Um, I also need to find, according to the book, it's a suggestion from the book to do the character voice journals. Um, I also want to find some actors and actresses that kind of exemplify the the personality of the characters that I'm going to be trying to do. I kind of feel like in Heart Wrencher, all the characters were kind of bland and boring. So I want very strong characters this time around. So. That's why I'm going to be doing the character voice journals. I'm going to be, you know, trying to find people that exemplify them. And um, so that starts this week. So we're still only seven weeks out. This is still a great time to make that choice to decide if you're going to be doing NaNoWriMo this year or not. You are. I'm going to make you. Um, it's also a time to start thinking about how much of the challenge you want to do. I'm starting to think maybe 50,000 words is too much for me. So I need to start thinking if I'm going to change it to 40,000 words. I don't know. I've got a full-time job and I'm also working part-time at another place. And so that's a lot of responsibilities on top of trying to make this work this year. So um, I think I'm probably going to do the full challenge. I'm, <laughs> I, I definitely see it as a challenge. Um, but that's, um, this is the perfect time to make those decisions. And last time I mentioned, you know, this is the perfect time for planners, especially like myself, to start thinking about, I, you know, ideas, structure, you know, start getting your big picture stuff done. But I don't really know how that works for pantsers. Uh, Faith left a comment on the last video saying that this is a great time for pantsers to start getting used to writing a thousand words a day, and I think that's a great suggestion. Um, you don't have to be, you know, planning things out, you could just get used to the habit of writing. And I didn't even think about that from that point of view. The habit of writing is something that's, that, that we could all get used to doing. Um, instead of just piling it all into a month, make this like the season in which you get used to writing almost daily and um, making progress. So one thing that I do to help me, you know, keep track of when I've worked on something, um, I do this when I'm writing as well. Um, I've got this calendar system. I got the idea from Victoria Schwab. She posts it on her Twitter and on her Instagram, and this is a really great visual way to see your patterns of uh, creativity and work habits. So this is what it looks like for me. This is September. I'm keeping track on my orange dots are when I work on uh, NaNoWriMo stuff. So I've been doing a little bit every day. So definitely start trying to get in the habit of writing more. Um, I think that's a really fantastic suggestion. Thank you, Faith, so much. Um, that really helps us out. So what do you have planned for this week? Are you doing anything for NaNoWriMo so far? Um, or are you just kind of letting it go and letting it see how, how the pieces lie? Oh, I'm, I feel overwhelmed already, but I think it's just because I have so much going on other than NaNoWriMo. So anyway... I will see you next week for another update.